Hey, how's it going? Mr. Deadman here of Rant and Chill, and I'm going to be reacting to Joe Rogan's apology for using the N-word, or I should say Joe Rogan's struggle session. They got you, Joe. They got you. You thought they wouldn't. You thought it was all comedy in that they wouldn't come after you, but they they are because they don't like you. They don't like you because they can't control what you say, what you do, but now they can. Now they have you, and you're done. There's no coming back from this. You're done. They made you squeal. They made you beg. It's absolute bullcrap that this is happening. And everyone can see, anyone with a brainstem can see that this is a political move. The reason why this is happening is because trying to get rid of Joe Rogan off of Spotify using COVID, uh, the COVID uh, argument didn't work. It's not working. So now they're going to use, oh, now he's racist. And you know this is a political uh, op because there's people on the other side, like the Young Turks, they use the N-word. Const oh, they have, they have clips using the N-word. They have some prior clips using the N-word. Do they not have to apologize? Do they not have to beg for forgiveness? What about when particular politicians have uh, said the N-word or have said, the, uh, said some interesting verbiage in response to black people like, uh, super predators and stuff like that. I, I vaguely remember a, a bill uh, put out by the Democrats with that sort of verbiage. Uh, but never mind that. Never mind that, right? You know? Okay. Um, oh, I also remember a couple of summers ago during the protests of peace, seeing white liberals calling black people, black officers, the N-word, and very... Um, in very mean ways to dehumanize them, to tear them down. So it's okay if they use the word nigger. It's okay if someone is a liberal, a progressive, and be like LGBTQ+, we love it all, we love trans rights, but we can say nigger. Is that, is that, is that what I understand? That you could say the word nigger if you are on uh, the blue team and like so wave yellow or rainbow flags. That's what's going on. But if you are, here's the thing. Joe, Joe is, is kind of left-leaning, too. He's not he's not a conservative. He just likes guns. He likes guns and free speech, which a lot of people should like free speech. I mean, the left has their comedic champion, George Carlin, who uh, pretty much one of his skits was saying every freaking forbidden word you can ever say. He would be forced on his knees to beg if he was outspoken against uh, the mandates, which I'm imagining he would be, knowing how George Carlin uh, operated. Maybe not. Maybe they get him to beg too. Get him to bend the knee. That's the thing. They want people to bend the knee. They do. Anyway, let me play this. Let me play this. And some people are going to be upset that I used the word. Man, I honestly think the more you use the word, the more you take the power out of it. But there's people who think otherwise. Like, we need to keep it forbidden. We need to keep because it's a, it means a lot. There's a historical meaning to the word. Sure, yeah, you're fine to, uh, to a certain extent. I mean, the more you make it forbidden, the more you make it where you shouldn't use the word, the more power that it has. It's kind of like with profanity. If you use fucks and motherfucker all the time, um, like it doesn't mean anything. But if you use it sparingly, okay, then then it's something. Anyway. Hello, friends. Um, I'm making this video to talk about the most regretful and shameful thing that I've ever had to talk about publicly. There's a video that's out that's a compilation of me saying the N-word. It's a... By the way, I want to say this. Joe Rogan is aging. It's aging. You know, I shouldn't say anything as someone who's 39, <laughs> right? And clearly, I have, uh, I have some health issues. But he looks like Uncle Fester. Video that's made of clips taken out of context of me of 12 years of conversations on my podcast and it's all smushed together, and it looks fucking horrible, even to me. Now, I It looks horrible because they made it that way to be horrible. Like, in context, he would say that in reference to various bits, and he will say the actual word instead of saying the N-word. Here's the thing. When you say the N-word, people know what you mean. People know what you mean. Okay? When you say the N-word, internally, people are going, oh, they mean, they mean this word. Eventually, it's going to get to the point to where even the phrase, the N-word, becomes, uh, becomes taboo. It's like, this is, are we grown adults? Or are we children? Why are we treating a word like this? 
It's man, I swear, think about it. If feminists have their way, uh, you wouldn't be allowed to say cunt. You have to say the C word. And some 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 ladies are like that. You can't say cunt, you have to say the C word. The C word. No. No. Stop. Are you grown adults that could say words? Are you uh, are, are are not? Say the word. Say it. I know that to most people, there is no context where a white person is ever allowed to say that word. That is wrong. There's actually a lot of context where you could say that word. Uh, comedy is one of them. You could say that word and not be racist. You don't have to be racist to say that word. You could say that word because it means nothing to you because you want to take the power from the word. You could do that. You can do that. Here's the thing. There's plenty of people on the other side that are left-leaning, that are uh, uh, in, in, in in Tifa, to that extreme of left-leaning, that will say that word. They will say it all the time. We saw them during the protest of peace showering black officers with the N-word. Do they care? Are they racist? I guess by the same logic, they are. You know? Word. Never mind publicly on a podcast. And I agree with that now. I haven't said it in years. But for a long time... When I would bring that word up, like if it would come up in conversation and stay, instead of saying the N word, I would just say the word. I thought as long as it was in context, people would understand what I was doing. But here's the thing, Joe. Joe is apologizing for something that's so bullshit. Because other, dude, TYT could say the N word today and they're not going to be touched by it. Okay. The only reason why... um Certain bread tubers aren't going to say the N word right now is because Twitch wouldn't allow it. But if they were streaming on YouTube, they would say the N word. They would just say the N word. Okay. They, they would do it. They would freaking do it. Like that context was part of the clip we were talking about Red Fox, how Red Fox said that word on television in the 1970s and how times have changed so much since then. Or about how Richard Pryor used it as one of the titles of one of his albums. Or I was quoting a Lenny Bruce bit, or I was quoting a Paul Mooney bit, or a, I was. But then none of that matters, though, huh? None of that matters to to these people. And you know, here's the thing, though, Joe. It's not about that. And the fact that you're apologizing, you're, you're confusing. It's not about that you said that word that you're quoting a various bits in the past. No, it's that they're trying to get rid of you. Like you're smarter than this. You know this. But here's the thing. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Spotify got to him. Someone got to him. I don't know if it's social pressure or what. Someone got to him. He caved. He caved. This is it. This is the moment. This is the moment where Joe Rogan fucked up and he doesn't even know it. I don't think he knows it. He fucked up. He fucked up here. He fucked up because he's shown that he can. he's vulnerable and he can bleed. They've been trying to make you bleed for a while, Joe. They've been trying to make you bleed. And now they did it. Now they freaking did it. Like, now, now I'm not going to want to listen to your show on Spotify. What? Why? <laughs> because I know you're a cuck. I know you'll cave to the pressure. I know you'll cave to the pressure. I was talking about how Quentin Tarantino used it repeatedly in Pulp Fiction. Or I was talking about how... An and Quentin Tarantino can still use that word. <laughs> I mean, dude, as long as, long as, as, long as he uh, is cool on their side... You know, be like, uh, as long as he says, you know, men can be women and women can be men. Yeah, he, he, he'll get that pass. He'll get that pass. Netflix executive, ironically, used it because he was trying to compare it to another offensive word. And he said it out loud and they fired him. Not calling anybody or just saying the word out loud. That was an opportunity. See, here's the thing. A lot of people get will feign offense to take someone down so they, they could take their spot. That's what this is, man. Okay? It's to, it's a career assassination to take someone's spot. To, it's like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Out. I was also talking about how there's not another word like it in the entire English language. Sort of. Yes. But there is, there are words that a particular group, especially women, want to get, uh, want to make forbidden, like cunt. Some some even some ladies don't even like the word pussy, but that's a whole other thing. Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of related, isn't it? I mean, if, if some ladies had their way, a feminist had their way, you wouldn't be allowed to say the word cunt. Okay. Now, 
And women could say, oh, we've been oppressed for years. In fact, they still, they're still saying, oh, we're oppressed now. You have female gamers or female gamers on G4 TV say, oh, I'm oppressed. I'm oppressed. Oh, the oppression's so real. It's like, um, you're on, you're on YouTube. You're on a major platform. You're on G4. You're getting paid money to talk about video games and you know nothing about them pretty much. And you're saying you're oppressed? Dude, you got the, no, shut up, shut up. Because it's a word where only one group of people is allowed to use it. And they can use it in so many different ways. Oh, like if okay. a white person says that word, it's racist and toxic. But a black person can use it and it can be a punchline. It could be a term of endearment. It could be lyrics to a... Well, you could actually make that point to other racial slurs. Like um, as a gringo, it would be bad for me to call someone who is a Mexican a wetback. That would be bad. Um, however, I've, I have heard that used amongst other uh, Hispanics as a, just just not not as frequent as I've heard like black people use the word inward. Uh, use, use the, oh my God, I even censored myself. Use the word nigger uh, to, to each other or nigga to each other. Um, but it does happen. It does happen. A rap song, it could be a positive affirmation. It's a very unusual word, but it's not my word to use. I'm well aware of that now. Dude, I thought this guy was Mr. Free Speech. Mr. Free Speech. They got him good, man. They got him good. He is he is dead in the inside. Oh, but for years I used it in that manner. I never used it to be racist because I'm not racist. But whenever you're in a situation where you have to say, I'm not racist, you fucked up. And I clearly have fucked up. And that's my intention to express myself in this video to say, dude, the people that are coming after Joe, the people who created that hit piece on him, they're probably racist, too. That's it. That's the thing. That's man, that is the thing. You'll, you'll see people on the other side. They're like Democrats or super lefties, super commie lefties. Dude, don't shower inwards all day and night. Dude, that's like a casual, casual word for them. And they'll say it in the face of black people. If they're not the black, if, if, if those black people aren't dancing the dance they want. And that's exactly what it is. If they, if the people on the left, some people on the left will see a black person and a uniform or a police uniform. Oh, that, oh, that, that, blurs, that black person's doing a dance. We don't like, oh, he's doing a role. We don't like, oh, well, we're going to call him. We're going to call him uncle Tom. We're going to call him a nigger. We're going to call him house nigger. We're going to call him all this stuff. All sorts of horrible stuff. Why? Because they're, dude, you could say they're freaking racist. You could say they're freaking racist. Maybe. I mean, sure. Fine. Whatever. Because they're using that in like a hateful way. They're using that term in a very hateful way to try to demean and, and take someone down. It is about context. And people who, who pretend otherwise, they're idiots. They're fools. And disingenuous. They, they know that. Hey, there's nothing I can do to take that back. I wish I could. Obviously, that's not possible. I do hope that, if anything, that this can be a teachable moment. Because I never thought it would ever be taken out of context and put in a video like that. And now that it, it was, is, but they're coming after you. That's what's going on here, Joe. Holy shit, it looks bad. Yeah, so does his apology. It looks really bad. It looks really it, bad. It's part of also me doing this podcast for thousands of hours, thousands of episodes over 12 years. I said a lot of fucking stupid shit, which is fine when you're talking about most things, but not when you're talking about race. And there's another clip that I have to address. There's a clip from a... They're going to make him donate to Black Lives Matter. <laughs> They're going to make him donate to Black Lives Matter, which is a foundation that's doing exactly what to enrich and better the lives of black people. Hmm? Oh, Oh, it's enriching the lives of the, the the founders. It's funding their houses. Oh. Oh, I guess I guess all black lives matter, but some black lives matter more than others, I'm guessing. Just going by the way they operate. 11 years ago, 
I was telling a story on the podcast about how me and my friend Tommy and his girlfriend, we got really high. We were in Philadelphia. Oh, it is the story where he said that Philadelphia looked like Planet of the Apes. <laughs> that, is a, that is a pretty raunchy joke. <laughs> and we went to go see Planet of the Apes. And we didn't know where we were going. We just got dropped off by a cab. And we got dropped off in this all-black neighborhood. And I was trying to make the story entertaining. And I said, we got out and it was like we were in Africa. <laughs> you, know what's, you know what's funny about that, too? There is a dude, there is an element of truth in the fact that, dude, if you're talking to an honest black person, they would probably say something similar. They would probably say something similar. Uh, dude. <laughs> oh, man. It's like we were in Planet of the Apes. I did not, nor would I ever say that black people are apes, but it sure fucking sounded like that. That, that, Joe, Joe, Joe. That's what he said in that joke. Come on, just own the joke. Dude. You have people on the left calling rapes too. Okay? You have people on the left, the same people who are coming after you are calling black people apes, porch monkeys, Uncle Toms, uh, all sorts of slurs when they're not doing the dance they want, when they're not uh, playing along, when they're not on their side. They do that. Okay? You didn't do it to a direct person. You made a reference to a situation. Okay? Dude, was was it a, was it a bad joke? Sure. Fine. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, does it mean you're racist? No, it doesn't mean you're racist. It's like, dude, this is weird. It is weird. Sometimes, especially when you're drunk and high, you, you perceive things in a... Kind of different way, and there, there definitely is lack a lack of uh, a filter, um, dude. I'm more interested about like what people do in their actions than I am about like kind of you know what they say, especially like uh, in a one-off joke or whatever. And I immediately afterwards said, "Oh, but someone like Vosh would be like, well, words are actions. Words are actions. <laughs> God, that's a God. racist thing to say. The Planet of the Apes wasn't even in Africa. I was just saying." There's a lot of black people there. But then I went on to talk about what a positive experience it was and how much fun it was to go to see this movie in a black neighborhood. It wasn't a racist story, but it sounded terrible. And like I said, you can have. Dude, now they're going to go. Now there's blood in the water. They're going to go after Joe for every other bit. He doesn't know, man. It's not over with. It's not over with. There's going to be hit piece after hit piece after hit piece. Joe, watch. They're not going to be satisfied with this apology. They want to destroy you, and they're going to get that. They're going to destroy you. They want to tear you down because you're independent. They want to tear you down because they don't control you. The only way they won't take you down is if you do what they say, you bow, you bend the knee, and you stay loyal to them. But then, even if you do that, they're paranoid. They don't know. They won't trust you. Not fully. They will, they will try to take you down. So either way, he's screwed. Either way, he's screwed. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about this? What do you think about Joe Rogan's apology? What do you think about my response to it? Disagree? Agree? Let me know in the comments section down below. Y'all take it easy and have a good one.